In southern Florida, all inspections of aquatic areas where wildlife have access can be very dangerous because of the prevalence of alligators. Inspections by human divers are only allowed when trappers with shotguns accompany them, and this protection is far from complete. My name is Marcus Cobb, and I'm the Director of Research and Development at VideoRay. In August of 2005, our clients were inspecting a vertical lift gate used for wa surface water management in the southern part of the state of Florida, United States. At this point in the inspection, I was operating the video raid to demonstrate the appropriate techniques with our PC Pilot control program using a wireless Game Boy style controller. The main video here was shot by Scott Bentley, the president of video ray, from above the lift gate structure. The inset is the video that was captured by the video ray camera. A 10 foot, about a 3 foot, 3 meter alligator approached the site. We were afraid to pull the video ray out of the water suddenly since this might induce an attack. Notice that the video ray is fairly motionless at this point and the alligator, who of course had no experience with this kind of creature, was probably considering whether this would be an appropriate addition to his diet for the day. Now we try backing away very slowly. We think the alligator was attracted to the light, heat, sound of the motors, perhaps all of these. Our attempt to back away just appeared to encourage the alligator to examine the video ray closely very closely. Note that initially his head is on top of the camera and light domes. As the alligator noses up to the unit, you get a view of his teeth, tongue, and snout that you would not want to experience more personally. At this point, you can see the alligator places the left light dome inside his mouth. However, the taste of polycarbonate was clearly not what he wants to eat, and he moves on.